Hello everyone, ChampXPy here and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a clicker game in Python part 3. So let's just get right into it. Let's see what we have done till now. If we run main.py we can see that. Okay, so there's a window that opens up. It's currently black in color and we have it, its name as coin clicker. We can name this whatever we want and it's an image that we have saved. And if you press space, you can see this coin appears. And if we click on the coin, then the money increases and it and the money gets printed right and if we click somewhere else then we can't get any money so we do not want this money to show up here we want it to actually dis get displayed as text here so let's just do that real quick okay so in the app class just after the init I'm gonna make a write text function so def write text we'll take self then take words because of course we want to write those words on the screen then we will take the size position color and uh, let's take another called center which will be false for default then let's do font is equal to bygame dot font dot sys font this we need to take something like game underscore font okay so we haven't defined this yet so let's just do that in settings so let's make something like page settings and text settings I can type it text settings and then let's do game underscore font is equal to let's do Arial black okay that's done then game font as you can see it's literal area black then we can do the size right so let's do size and then over here we'll do text is equal to font dot render and then this we can do words and anti alias will be false and color will be color that's it and then if centered then as you can see th this right here it returns an image of the text right so we need to plate it on a position or we need to draw it on the screen at a given position and this is telling if we want to center it or not which is basically false but this if statement will run only if this is true so if it's true then we will pass in a position which is already passed in here and then if It'll be a list so we can access its contents so pause of zero will be pause of zero minus and then this text will be an image right so we can get the size of it so get instead of searching you can just type it size it returns the width and height so width will be first and we are getting the width so zero and then by two this is basically half the width and we can minus it from the position so that it is always centered we can do that with the height as well we just need to change the zeros to ones so that we can access the height instead of the width and then over here we can do self.screen.blit and then we can do text and we can do position now we are not using this uh, function so let's use it um, let's see the plain draw function let's do self.screen or not self the screen with we'll self dot write text and then let's do an f string with money is equal to self dot money money and this let's try a size of let's say 16 so 16 position let's pass in a list do not pass in a tuple it should be a list 5 of 0 find 0 so x will be 5 y will be 0 color let's do red red centered will be false so we don't need to pass in or actually we yeah it should be false and this red is giving in an error I think we haven't defined it in settings let's go let's do color settings and then let's do red is equal to 255 0 0 okay now let's run main.py if I click okay so there is one you can't see it let's uh, fix that so we, the reason we can't see it is because we aren't 
properly updating it we are not filling the screen so let's do that cell.screen.fill and let's type in black okay so even black is not defined so let's go to select.py and do black is equal to and it's 0 0 0 now if we run main.py as you, this is displayed our money is 0 but if you press then money becomes 1 and 2 then 3 then 4 and if I click anywhere else then money remains the same so I can keep clicking and it's printing over here as well and we want and we do not want that so let's see we can just remove the print statement right so in the playing events over here we can just do this we can just remove the print statement actually backspace it and it won't get printed and we can see that in the screen itself in this screen over here and we can also change the color of this we can just type any uh, RGB value in there but I just chose red because I like red it's fine you can write any color and next I'll just cut this because I'll put it in a better place I'll, below, I'll put it below this function here fix the indentation okay so now now we need to implement the shop right so let's do if self.state is equal to shop let's do self dot shop events and self dot shop draw okay now we need to in the init function we need to go and do self dot shop is equal to shop and this is going to be a class and we don't know that yet we haven't made it yet so let's go make it make another file in the src folder and make it shop class dot py and then in this app class we're going to import from shop class uh, I made two spaces there and then import the star that means everything and then we're going to import high game of course and we're going to import all these settings so from settings import all and then we make a class type setting colon instead of L that's fine class shop then if you're writing a shop, if you're writing a class, then we of course need a constructor. So init self. Let's do self dot image is equal to pygame dot image dot load. And this we need to pass in assets because it's this assets folder and then forward slash shop dot png. That's how I name this shop dot png. It looks like this. Okay, and then. For now, let's just keep it like this. Then in this app class over here, in this, uh, we of course need to define these two uh, these two functions. So let's do that. Def shop underscore events self. Then let's of course we need to implement the closing. So for event in pygame dot event dot get if event dot type type is equal to pygame dot quit dot quit then we can do self dot running is equal to false so we're just essentially setting it to false so that this loop stops running and then it's the same dev shop underscore draw self um over here let's do for now we'll just do self dot screen dot blit then let's do self dot shop dot image self dot shop or we can just do 0 comma 0 right if we run main.py the shop will be too big right I think if I press uh, so we need to set the state to shop so let's do that in the playing events because that's where we're checking for all the events so let's go here and uh, Let's make another statement if event dot type is equal to not type is type is equal to pygame dot key down it's key key down then if event dot key is equal to pygame dot k underscore let's say p for pause or you can even do s for shop but I'll do p for pause then do self dot state and set it to shop so let's see how that works. If 
I press space, you can see the coin, and if I press B after that, the shop appears. But it's too big, right? So we need to make it smaller. Okay, so let's see the dimensions of this shop. 686 by 532. It's quite big, so let's make that smaller. How do we make that smaller? Well, it's very easy. Uh, let's go to our shop class. And go over here, sell.image is equal to pygame. Dot transform. Dot scale. And over here, we'll use sell.image, which is actually this image, pygame.image.load. And this, we can put how much we want. So, it was 686. So let's try 500. And what was this? That was 532. So let's try 400. Let's run my note py. Okay, so if I press B, so I have extended it a bit. So let's do, let's try something like 350. 350. Hmm. Let's run it again and see. Press B. Okay, so I need to make the width a bit smaller. I need to lower the width. So let's go here. Let's do something like 475. And let's do like 325. I'm going to again. If I press B. And now, yep, it's properly positioned, I know. And we can just increase the height because it's too squeezed from top to bottom so let's do 350 that was the best right yeah. now if we run it again if I press B as you can see the shop is perfect but now we need to make it so that it's it it's in the between of the page right so let's do self dot X is equal to width not warning width by 2 and self dot Y is equal to height by 2 and then uh, in the draw, instead of a uh, zero and zero, where were we drawing it? In the in the shop draw, right over here. Instead of doing zero and zero, we can do self dot shop dot x minus self dot shop dot image dot get size of zero by two. So this basically centers the image because Pygame draws it from top left so let's do self.shop.y minus self.shop.image.getSize of 1 by 2 this time so if you're getting a little confused please let me know in the comments I will try to slow down my pace and let's see what this looks like if I press B Okay, so as you can see, it is centered, but we want to make it a bit smaller because we can't see the money right now. So let's do that. Let's go over here. Let's make it something like uh, 425. And let's do something like 275. Let's see what that looks like, right? If we run it, we press B. Okay, so I think we can increase the height a bit. So let's do that. Let's do 300. Okay, let's see what that looks like. If we press B, and yeah, that looks good enough, I think. Now, yes, that looks very good. Okay, so now what we need to do is make self. We need to make the upgrades, right? This is, this is going to be a list. It's going to be self upgrades. It's going to be list, and this is going to be in shop class. So it's gonna be a list and we were going to add many we're gonna add three upgrades right because there's three upgrades so let's do that for I and range oh my god in range let's say three let's do self dot upgrades dot append because we're adding to the list and we can do a, let's say shop upgrade and then we can pass in i so that it becomes dynamic and we have not defined this so let's do that we've got an src folder new file shop upgrade dot py and we can just do class dot py shop upgrade class dot py and then we can do import pygame and this we can do from shop upgrade class import everything 
here we can type from settings import everything and do class um, let's do shop upgrade let's in the constructor we make a self and a num because we're passing i so we need to take this as a parameter so let's do self.image is equal to buy game dot image dot load and we pass in an f string here upgrade or let's do assets forward slash upgrade and then this we can do num plus one uh, that is good enough and then of course self dot y is going to be equal for all of them because we want to show them in one place so let's do self dot y is equal to let's make it zero for now and uh, let's do self dot x is equal to 40 just for now just for now just, we're trying trial and error now what we need to do is uh, in our app class right we need to do our shop draw a self dot screen dot blit self um no not like that for i in uh, self dot shop dot upgrades let's do i dot draw okay and, and this we can do self dot screen over here we can make a draw function def draw self and screen then screen dot blit and over here we can do self dot image and we'll do uh, self dot x and self dot y and uh, we can also scale this image because we need to scale it otherwise it'll become too big transform dot scale and then yeah, we can do self dot image and we can do 50 and 50 over here we can do self dot image dot get size 0 by 2 same thing here self dot image dot get size of 1 by 2 okay so let's see how that works of course we need to do trial and error okay so upgrade num plus 1 assets forward slash okay so let's see what the problem is app class or not app class in this uh, shop class for i in range 3 right so upgrade 1 dot png so we need to do png of course i forgot now let's run it again if i press p okay so most of them are there itself so we need to okay so what is the problem Draw is fine, screen dot plate, self dot image, self dot x. Okay, okay, okay. So instead of zero, this should be equal to height by two. If we run that, if we press B, it's over there. We need to make some more. So let's do the arrows also. Let's do height by two plus let's say 40. Let's try that. What that looks like. Okay, so let's add something like 60. Let's see what that looks like. Let's press B. Okay, so 60 is too much. Let's do 50. Let's see what that looks like. So it's too much trial and error, but it's fine. Yep, 50 looks good enough, but I would like to change it to something like 48. So let's do 48 and try. Okay, that looks good enough. That's that's really good in my opinion. That's so it looks a bit small right now. So let's make it bigger. Let's make it bigger. So to make it bigger, instead of 50, 50, let's do something like 75, 75. And if you press B, no, that's too big. So I'll go with 60. I'll go with 65. 65. Let's see how that looks. Like. Yep, that is the perfect size I wanted. Okay, so now let's get the X. Probably. And uh, let's 
for the X. Let's do something like 100 and see what that looks like. There's the P. So 100 is also too, too less. So let's increase that more. Or let's do it differently, right? If num is equal to 2 and self.x is equal to width by 2. Because I uh, know if self.num is equal to 1. And we also need to set self.num is equal to num. So we can access this variable in other functions as well. And if num is equal to 1, which means that it is the second or whatever the second uh, image then it should be in the middle of the shop and in the middle of uh, the screen as well so we can see how that works so press p uh, okay shop radius so for, for one and two it's not working that's why uh, let's just do something like self.x is equal to 150 let's see what that looks like P. Okay, so that is also not working. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay, yes, yes. This should be above the if statement, right? I just forgot. <laughs> P. Yeah. So this 10 is in the middle, just like that. I want this to be a bit more to this, the uh, left side. So let's make it like 125. code yeah that looks good actually hmm. okay 125 if uh, if uh, num or self dot num whatever num is equal to 0 and self dot x is equal to 125 and then if num is equal to 2 then self.x is equal to width minus 125. Let's see what that looks like. P. Yep, that is really good. Um, I'm very happy with that actually. <laughs> okay, so that is all for this video. We got the shop working, the shop image working. And uh, I really had a lot of fun with the trial and error. But I'll see you guys tomorrow with the video. We'll get the shop working. So... See you next time. Bye. Peace.